Today we're going to talk about capturing the output from a command line process in a .NET application. We're going to start by running a simple net command uh, from the command line and we're going to capture the output and put it into a text box in the main form. So to do this we're going to start by doing a uh, we're going to process start info and we're going to do the net command with some arguments and we're just going to do help just to get the help output. We're going to set a few properties on the command so we're going to set shell execute to false so we can capture the output. We're going to redirect the standard output to true and we are going to then go ahead and start our process. So at this point, we're gonna that would start the process and execute, and it would actually show the window. So the other thing we want to do here is we want to make sure we don't show the window. Create no window equals true. So now that we've got that started, we can then capture the output by doing grabbing the process, grabbing the standard output, which is a stream reader. We can read end and we'll capture that into a string. Then we're just going to do a text box text equals s. And doing that, we can now run the program and it'll appear up here. And we can say run it and look at that. There we go. There's the output from net. Um, so if this was something parsable, you could easily parse that. So that's great if you have uh, an exe, which net is an exe on your hard drive. If you're looking to process something from, let's say, the command line, let's say uh, a dir command, you're going to have to do a little bit more than just uh, what we did there. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So the next thing we would do is for dir, we're going to go ahead and put that on a separate button. I'm going to copy and paste because I don't want to have to type everything again. Um, so this time we're going to run command. And we're not going to pass any parameters to it. We're going to redirect the standard input as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to then go proc that standard input. And we're going to write line, we're going to write dir slash w sql and slash windows slash system32. So we're going to just I'll put everything in Windows System 32 to the command line. Then the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to do standard input, right line, exit. So that way it'll exit the command line, the process will end, and then we then this read to end will succeed. So if we go ahead and run this again, and I drag it over, and I click render, and there we go, and there's the entire contents of my System 32 directory. As you can see, very easy, and now this is very parsable if you needed to you know, parse something here.